Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to the don'ts of visiting New Orleans. Now, this is going to be fun because New Orleans is somewhere that over the course of this channel, I've, re I've realized that the food that comes out of there looks Mwah! Like, I mean, the, the gumbo, the, the Cajun stuff, the, uh, the, the crawfish boils and all that sort of stuff, the jambalaya. And also, I used to watch uh, X-Men, the animated series, back in the day, and Gambit was like one of my favorite characters. You know, Gambit, he used to throw the cards and he used to speak with this sort of Cajun French accent, like, mon chéri, like... <laughs> And he was from New Orleans, so yeah, even though I've never been to New Orleans, it's somewhere that I definitely want to visit, definitely will visit in future, just to sample the food and the sights and just to absorb the culture. But I hear a lot about New Orleans, apparently a lot of areas there aren't very safe. Um, you know, there's a, you know, apparently, apparently there's a lot of corruption there. I don't know. So Walter's World is probably one of the best channels on YouTube in terms of breaking down, uh, you know, areas like things to do, things not to do, places to avoid, places to, you know, seek out. So hopefully there's going to be a, a lot of nuggets of info here. Let's do it. Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're in New Orleans, Louisiana for the Louisiana. don'ts of visiting New Orleans. And no, it's not just Mardi Gras here. You can enjoy New oh, Orleans yeah, almost Gras. all year round. And so what we're going to do that. is talk about those don'ts today. And the first don't I have for you for when you come to New Orleans is know that you don't call it Nolens, you don't call it <laughs> New Orleans, it's New Orleans. New Orleans. Think of it this New way, it's like new, like new, and then or, like what you row a boat with, and then lens, like a camera lens, New that's Orleans. how you say it, New Orleans. And you put the emphasis on that or, okay? Uh, so that's what you need to know, that's the first step, okay? Know how to say the name right, <laughs> New Orleans, all right? Now my second don't for you is, don't worry too much about the liquor laws here. Look, you can walk around New liquor Orleans laws. with your alcohol, drinking your beer or your hurricane or your hand grenade or whatever you're- Oh, is it one of those dry places? Uh, places that it's illegal, like illegal to, you know, buy booze. Drinking, you can walk around with that, okay? So don't worry about that. But what you need to know is don't walk around with glass bottles. You have oh. to have it in a plastic cup. Otherwise, the coppers will tell you to throw it away, or if you don't, you could get a ticket. So you do want to be careful with that. But in general, don't worry too much about, about the open liquor laws here because you can walk around and enjoy your drink and go and check out the music in all the different places, okay? My next don't for you is if you are going to be imbibing quite a bit, what you do when you're here is don't pee in public. Look, when you're walking on Bourbon Street, you might I mean, smell like, well, like not everyone follows sense. your directions, Mark. No, not everyone does. But the thing is, if you pee in public, you can get a ticket as well. And I don't think you want to have an arrest record part of your, you know, one of your souvenirs you want to get when you come here. <laughs> so don't do that. The, the bars and stuff, they all have restrooms. Sometimes there might have been attendant. I know in the guy's room at night, on the weekends there have been. You know, you might tip them a buck or something like that. But just know, don't pee in public. Another don't I have for you is don't bear your breasts for beads. Look, but the what? thing is, is realize that there's two things you want to know. One, if you do that, be ready to have them spread all over the internet. Because I saw a few people doing that last night where they were doing it. There's like seven other people taking pictures of them doing it. Okay. Hang on a minute. Is that sort of like a thing in New Orleans where if you go around and show your, you know, lady parts, you can get free beads? I've never heard of that. Okay, so that's one thing. A second thing is, if you bury your breasts outside the French Quarter, I mean, in the French Quarter, things are pretty laid back and they let things slide. But you get out of the French Quarter, that's called an act of lewdness. That's public nudity. You can be arrested for that, okay? So just know that, just don't bury your breasts for beads. You can go buy them at Walgreens. And the thing is, is this all leads into my next stone is, don't think New Orleans is just the French Quarter. I know when you watch the Mardi Gras stuff, they just show the French Quarter. Hey, there's, there's no parades here in the French Quarter during Mardi Gras, by the way. That's on St. Charles Avenue, that's over that way. Look, New Orleans has so much to see. You like history? The National World War II Museum is here. Blocks of history. See the letters that moms and kids wrote back to their parents from the war, the, the battlements, their, their accoutrement, everything they had. It's a very moving, very huge, I mean, huge museum. I had no idea. To be honest, like when I thought of New Orleans, to be honest, I just thought about the Mardi Gras and the food. 
Well, we're checking out. Go out to Noma, the New Orleans Museum of Art at, the, at City Park. It's got a fantastic collection. Oh, you're like, well, I'm coming with my kids. Don't worry about that. The Aquarium of the Americas, the Audubon Zoo, there's a ton of stuff here to see besides hitting the French Quarter. Now, don't get me wrong, walking around the French Quarter is so cool because you have this beautiful architecture you can see, and yes, it's good for a party and lots of great restaurants, but don't think New Orleans is just the French Quarter. It's a very tiny part of a very big city. And leading off to that one is don't stay in the French Quarter. I mean, don't get a hotel in the French Quarter because I'll be honest, this gets loud and rowdy pretty much every night of the year. We're here and it's actually, they're setting records for the coldest, coldest nights, okay? And it's freezing. Like I have my winter coat down there, but the bars are still packed. People are still out partying, having a good time, going crazy. And that loudness really makes it so it's not really enjoyable sometimes. Is New Orleans quite like a party town then? There's a lot of like parties going on. Nice. <laughs> nice, right up my street. To stay in the French Quarter, so you might want to stay just a little bit outside. On the other side of Canal Street, go stay in the Central Business District or downtown or, or someplace that can really, one, cut down the price a lot, but also cut down the noise and cut down some of the some of the, the stuff like that. So just, just a heads up for that one. And the thing is, is when you come here, you might be driving in here, and I'm going to tell you right now, don't drive in New Orleans. Don't. Really? Just don't. It is such a pain, and the biggest pain is finding parking. Not just ah. you know paying for parking and all the things, but just finding parking. It is really, really tough. So what I recommend, if you're driving in, do the valet, have them park your car and leave it. And yes, the valet, 30 bucks a day, 40 bucks a day, something like that. Just pay it, leave it, don't worry about it. Because what's cool is you can get around town relatively easily. You know, if you like your Uber and Lyft and taxis and stuff like that, that's no problem here. Also, they got the street cars to take. That's one thing I've been doing. I come out of my hotel, walk down Canal Street, grab the, uh, grab the street car there. Boom. $1.25, I'm down here at, the, at Jackson Square, no problem. So do that, use that around. Because taking the streetcar through the Garden District, yes, you'll see beautiful homes there as well. I mean, definitely go through the Garden District to see the homes there. But you take the streetcar to do that and leave the car out of it. Because man, driving in New Orleans will drive you crazy. My next don't actually go. Yeah, I've heard this in quite a few other videos like this. Apparently just driving around is a complete nightmare because you can't find anywhere to park. But then the alternative is if there's not good public transport, like if, if the if the streetcars go down, then what do you do? You're relying on Uber and stuff. Mm. From that is when you do park your car, don't leave anything visible, okay? Right. New Orleans is not exactly the safest city in the world, okay? But, I mean, it's not horrible, but it, you gotta be careful. And even if you're gonna be valet parking or leaving your car somewhere, that doesn't mean it's gonna be safe. Make sure, one, it's locked, but nothing is visible. So take everything with you that you need, take it to your hotel, that put it in there. Sure. Or hide it or, or put it away so people can't see it. Because you don't wanna give somebody a reason just to break the window and take your stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't leave anything out that way, okay? And I guess that kind of leads into my, don't be complacent when you do go out New Orleans. Look, there's a lot of people that come here, a lot of tourists, a lot of drinking. And so you will see, I mean, we saw a bunch of fights last night, people wow. running around. There are, I mean, you don't have a lot of pickpocketing in the U.S., but you do see some of that here. So you got to pay attention. Wallet in your front pocket, make sure you're paying attention. If you think, hey, I think those two guys are going to fight. Seems like there's quite a, you know, high uh, police presence here, or at least in a, a lot of the shots we've seen so far. Like anyone who's from New Orleans or has been to New Orleans is this quite a common sight. You see a lot of like cops out and, out and about. Believe me, they're going to, and the bats are gonna throw their butts out. And if you're between the door and those that fight, you might get you know, caught up in it. So don't be complacent when you're here. Another don't I have for you is when someone comes up to you and says, hey, I bet you I know where you got those shoes. Do not fall for that guy, okay? Because what he's gonna tell you is, oh, I bet you 10 bucks I can tell you where you got those shoes. You're what? like, oh, they'll never know. I got these in Lisbon, so they'll never know. Ha, ha, ha. Then the guy will go, you got those shoes on Bourbon Street in New Orleans, Louisiana. Give me 10 bucks. You're like, what? what? And then they'll harass you. Just say, hey, I'm a local man. I got, I got them here in New Orleans. Just say that and walk what away, the all right? Because I've seen a number of tourists getting harassed by those guys. My buddy that's here with me, he got three people to ask him within like three blocks. It was hilarious because I'm just laughing, walking in front of him. I'm like, he's like, what are they? I'm like, dude, just tell them you're local. Tell them you got your shoes in New Orleans. Just do that, okay? Don't let them get to you. Now, if you remember the beginning- That would be so annoying just to try and squeeze 10 bucks out of you. Dude, 
Just leave me alone, right? Beginning of the video, I said, New Orleans is a great place to visit most of the year. Well, well our next stop is any, specifically- Has that ever happened to you guys? Anyone who's been to New Orleans, like the whole, where did you get your shoes thing? Dealing with those months, you don't come here. And that is, don't come in July and August. Look, New Orleans is in a swamp, guys, okay? So what is it like in a swamp? It's hot, it's muggy and gross. Well, guess what New Orleans is in July and August? It's hot and muggy and gross. I mean, <laughs> your sweat is sweating when you uh, are here. Oh, wow. So I do not recommend coming in Super July and August. Hot. It's just too hot and too miserable to be here. Otherwise, you'll be fine. I mean, it's a great place to come the rest of the year. That's why there's tons of conferences and parties and festivals here. I mean, it's not just Mardi Gras, Jazz Fest, French Quarter Festival. I've been to all of them, man. It is an awesome time. And the thing is, is just, just, just don't come in July and August, okay? I love New Orleans, but for you, me, don't. And if you do okay. come, don't Julie complain Lowe. about the heat and the humidity in July and August because you came to the city in a swamp in July and August, okay? So <laughs> I'm just gonna get that one out there for you. And the thing is, what's cool about New Orleans, you don't have to be concerned with being a tourist. This city is really geared for tourism. There's tons of tours, whether you wanna to go to the cemetery or go on a swamp tour or go to some of the plantations, a city walking tour, a garden district tour. There's so much tourism things here set up for you that it's really great. Hotels, restaurants, bars, tours, all those things. And it's a fantastic thing. So it's okay to be a tourist and they get millions of tourists a year coming here. So you can kick back and be that tourist. You don't have to feel like, oh, how do I fit in when I'm here? Look, there's so many tourists here everybody fits in so you can really relax when you come here that's why people enjoy it it's the laissez-faire attitude of the people in new orleans of hey you be you what is that looks delicious to me is that a club sandwich or some kind of variation of it i'll be me let's have a good time all right and leading off of that is don't screw over your tour guide when you do come here. What you need to know is there are some rules for the tour guides. You know, they can't let their tour groups block the sidewalk because they could get a fine. The tour guide, they can walk in the street, but the tour group can't, so stay on the sidewalk. Otherwise, oh. they can get a fine. So do have a heads up for that one. And there's so much service industry here. A lot of people actually work on tips, so don't forget to tip. We actually had a number of uh, bartenders tell us that a lot of the tours that come here to party and stuff like that, they don't tip at all. So make sure you are tipping because the waiter and the waitress and the bartenders and stuff like that and the bands, they're making their money off of tips. So do be generous with your tipping because it makes a difference for them, okay? And I know a lot of people come down, I'm drinking, no, they're never going to remember me. Remember, if you're at that bar, they will remember you if you tip, which means they'll come to you first before the other people, okay? So just, just a heads up on that one. Now my next stone for you is don't screw with the cops and don't screw with their horses. Look, the police in New Orleans are super helpful and they're also super professional. So if you have a question, you don't know where to go or you're worried, just go talk to them. They'll be walking around the French Quarter, they'll be around town, you will see them. And don't be afraid to talk to them and ask them for Oh snap, is someone getting thrown out? <laughs> for help. But don't mess with them. If your buddy's getting into a fight or somebody picked on them and they're fighting, don't be like, Something's hey cop, on. that was my buddy didn't start it. Cops don't care, they'll take your butt down too. All right, so don't mess with the cops and don't mess with their horses because you'll you're, you'll regret it. Okay, so just don't. Mm. Now, That's one of the things advice. you might see the cops doing is is helping people that may have had too much to drink. And one thing I, I've always seen every time I've come here, don't be surprised if you don't see somebody crying or puking or crying and puking when you are here. So don't get puked on. Look. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one more day here in New Orleans and I have not got puked on yet. I'm okay. Last time I was here, Liam got me, okay? But th this, <laughs> it's one of the few times I've come here and no one's puked on me yet. So do watch out because people do get oh, really man, drunk at night so here in the French gross. Quarter. Imagine, so do have a. Oh, some wasted dude puking on you. Oh, gross. A heads up with that. All right. So do be careful with that. Now, my next stone for you is don't get in a hurry. Look, in Louisiana and the South in general, things go a little slower. Right. New Orleans okay. Take is time. no different than that. Go you may think, flow. oh, big city, hustle bustle. No, no, it's New Orleans, take it easy. It's called the Big Easy, remember? Just take it easy, relax. So service, getting your beer, uh, things getting done, all these kind of things, just know it takes a little bit more time. That's why this streetcar is perfect. It slowly goes through town because that's how things work here. So don't get in a hurry. And getting upset and telling people to hurry up actually I think makes them actually go slower. So just, just, <laughs> just be ready for it. Just take it easy here at the Big Easy, okay? And one of the things you're going to want to take slow is the eating. And so my next tip for you is don't come to New Orleans when you're on a diet. Look, the food here is fantastic. 
crawfish uh, etouffee. Yeah, yes, it's, it's crawfish, not crayfish, not crawdads. It's crawfish, okay? Crawfish etouffee Ooh. is fantastic. Jambalaya, gumbo, oysters. Oh, char grilled Ooh. oysters here. Oh my God, they're so good. Having beignets at Cafe Du Monde, something you don't forget to do. Oh yes, you God. have beignets or these little donut again. things, man, with powdered sugar all over them. Is this a pecan pie? Yes. Oh, the drinking? Yes, that adds calories too. The goldfish, there's so much fantastic food and drink to have here. Yes, go to Pat O'Brien's and have your hurricane, which is like this much rum and then whatever the coloring is, mm. but you will pack on some pounds when you're here. So don't come on a diet. Don't pretend you're on a diet. Just say, you know what? Don't I'm going pretend. to New Orleans. The diet can start again on Monday. All right? And another donut I have for you is don't be scared to bring the kids. Look, the French Quarter at night, you don't bring your kids. But until about four or five o'clock in the afternoon, you can bring your kids to the French Quarter, no problem. And the rest of the city is very kid friendly with the aquarium and the Audubon Zoo and the city park and all kinds of stuff and the mm. cool architecture. And there's tours and stuff like that. Go into the garden. To wow, are they twins? I mean, they're not, but they look literally the same, don't they? <laughs> like copy and paste. District. There's a children's museum here, all kinds of stuff. And a lot of people think, oh no, New Orleans is only for adults. No, it's not just for adults. They actually have a lot of really great kid stuff. And what shocks me when they come here at Mardi Gras, when you go to the parades, you see families there. Yes, New Orleans can be family friendly. Now, Bourbon Street after four o'clock in the afternoon, I'm gonna say no, it's not. But otherwise, don't forget to bring the kids when you come here. We had a great time with our kids when we came here last time and and I mean I, I say why not bring them now another don't I have for you is if you're gonna be here for a weekend and there's restaurants you want to go to don't forget to make reservations for dinner because yeah. there's so many tourists that come here you a lot of people forget to do that when they go on vacation. To be honest, we used to as well, but now anything, anywhere popular or semi-popular, you got to book in advance. You might wait in line for an hour or so to get into a restaurant. So there's ones you really want to get into, make that reservation before you come so it's set up. And if you're going to be coming at Mardi Gras time and stuff like that, or any of the festivals, definitely reserve a way in advance. Otherwise you might be, you know, oh, don't get me wrong, eating a poor boy on the street's not bad, but you probably want to go in and have some char grilled oysters or something like that. So, I we're almost done, don't worry, I know this is I kind of a long one. don't list, but I want you guys- A po' boy is like a, a roll with like fried prawns or something. I think it's fried prawns, fried shrimp. Looks really good. have a good. great time. My next don't for you is don't overdo it on your first night. Look, when you come here, you're gonna to wanna to party up and eat it up and you're gonna get so full and then so full that the next day it might be miserable. So the first day, take it a bit easier or at least plan not to do anything the next day, your second day here, because I see a lot of people not enjoying this city because they're so hungover from their first night, okay? So do be careful <laughs> that on that. Be me. <laughs> and I guess my last don't I'm gonna say is don't forget to bring cash and don't forget to have an ID with you. Look. If you look under 30, they might, they probably will card you when you're going to the bars, especially on Bourbon Street. So have your ID, have it ready. Also, you want to have cash around here, not just for tipping people, but for buying a beer here and there, getting your stuff. It's to be honest, I take my driver's license everywhere I go. Like, but I mean, would I get, I look over 30, don't I? I, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I look older. Sometimes I feel like I look younger. I don't really know. Like, do you think I'd get ID'd? <laughs> It's just easier to have cash. And again, remember, keep your wallet in your front pocket if you do have your cash, just for safety's sake, all right? So I hope this helped you know what not Very to do helpful. or don't do when you do come to New Orleans. It's a fantastic city. I've been here a number of times. Another fantastic video from uh, Walter's World. Really, really informative. Like a lot, I think I would say about 20 to 30% of the suggestions are things that I probably would have done anyway. Like things like, you know, going to the toilet on the street. I would never do that. At least I think I would never do that. I'd never do that sober. But there was definitely a lot of things that um, I will take on board, like not expecting fast service. Like here in the UK, especially in London, you know, if you go into a bar, you know, like if the, as soon as the barman sees you, getting your drink is going to be quite quick, you know, it's, it's not, and, and we don't really tip here either. So I would have thought because he suggested, because Lawrence suggested that, you know, tip generously, I would expect, you know, fast, good service. But then I guess if that's just not the way things are done in New Orleans, then, you know, you just have to adapt so that you don't kind of like, you know, make yourself like, a bit of an outsider like you you want to fit in right and that's something i'd want to do but yeah a lot of useful tips really enjoyed this video and i can't wait to get out there and try the food honestly i need some jambalaya thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one